The first official teaser of the OnePlus 11 has been revealed. This and more in today's episode. Hello and welcome to a fresh new episode of Daily Fiber. I'm your host Raman Rashid and before we get on with the rest of the episode, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. OnePlus celebrated its 9th anniversary at an event in China and the company, to the surprise of fans, also gave us the first glimpse at its upcoming smartphone, the upcoming flagship smartphone, the OnePlus 11. Now in this official teaser, we can surely say that the OnePlus 11 will be coming in a glossy black color. The alert slider will be there, the triple camera setup can also be seen tuned by Hasselblad. And it's a circular camera module, something that we have seen in the recent leaks and rumors. So I'm very pumped about the design, can't wait to see this phone in person and test it out. Also, when can we expect to see the OnePlus 11 launch in India? Well, we can expect it to see anytime around early next year, maybe an announcement in January, then followed by a launch in March. Of course, the launch in India will take place after the China launch, but uh, again, the official details regarding the launch day and stuff are still awaited, so if you don't want to miss out on the coverage, definitely stay tuned to Daily Fiber. Last week, we were speculating that uh, Samsung will be coming up with two budget options for the Indian market, and it was all rumored at that point. And uh, this week only, the phones are now official. So the Galaxy A04 and the Galaxy A04e have been launched in the Indian market. And if we talk about the prices, well, the Galaxy A04e starts at 9,299 rupees for its 3GB RAM plus 32GB storage variant. And this pricing goes all the way up to 12,999 rupees for the Galaxy A04 in its 4GB RAM plus a 128GB storage option. Now, when it comes to the specification, both phones are very identical. I mean, uh, the only major difference that I could see is that the Galaxy A04 has a 50 megapixel main camera coupled with a 2 megapixel depth sensor while the Galaxy A04e sports a 13 megapixel main camera again coupled with a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Apart from this, both the phones have the same screen, same design, identical design, same battery, same processor, all of that remains the same. And uh, Samsung is targeting uh, this phone at the consumers who want smooth multitasking at an affordable price point. So what are your thoughts uh, about the company's move and what are your thoughts on the, these uh, smartphones, the Galaxy A04 and the Galaxy A04e? Let me know in the comments. After the launch of the Nothing Year 1 and the Nothing Year Stick recently, a new pair of Nothing Year Buds have been spotted online. So according to a Bluetooth certification site, a new pair of earbuds with the model number B155 featuring Bluetooth 5.2 have been spotted online and these are speculated to be the Nothing Year 2. Now, of course, again, as I said, these are just speculations at this point. We are not even sure whether these are the Nothing Year 2 or something else. But uh, since we are talking about the Nothing Year 2, what can we expect out of the upcoming uh, successor of the Nothing Year 1s? That is the Nothing Year 2. Well, uh, in terms of design, it is speculated that the design would be the same as the Year 1s, but uh, internal changes are definitely expected in terms of internal hardware. So we can get to, we might get to see better drive drivers, better ANC, better sound quality or even better battery life. Of course, we know about the Bluetooth certification. Of course, if, if this is the nothing year 2, then the Bluetooth uh, would be the Bluetooth 5.2. But um, again, mere speculation at this point. And also, you know, speculations are also there that the nothing year 2 might launch uh, in January next year and they might come with a price of 10 to 11,000 rupees. But uh, at this point, it's just a rumor and uh, we are just hoping that the nothing year 2 becomes official very soon because i'm very pumped about it and can't just wait uh, for the nothing year 2 to come in the indian market the vivo x90 series was recently launched in china but the main question is when are the phones uh, launching in india well according to a twitter user the vivo x90 series could very well launch in india on january 31st next year of course no official announcement has been made by vivo india so take this information with a huge grain of salt and also we don't know whether vivo will be launching all the three phones in the country or whether they'll come with two phones or one phone that is also something that remains to be seen now in terms of pricing the x90 series starts in china at about 3700 chinese yuan which is about 43 44 000 rupees here in india but 
I am expecting that the X90 series will start in India at around 50,000 rupees at least. They are going to be pricey because we know about uh, the rising cost and components. So expect the prices to be around 50,000 rupees. But when it comes to the specifications, I think uh, the Indian variants will also carry the same specs as the Chinese variants. And uh, of course, we'll get to know more in the coming days when Vivo does make things official. And if you don't want to miss all of that, then definitely stay tuned to Fiber. I have brought you deals about the Galaxy S22. I have given you deals about the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Today, I have a deal on the middle child of the Galaxy S22 series. That is the Galaxy S22 Plus. Now, of course, the Galaxy S22 Plus comes with a fantastic screen, premium design, solid battery life, stellar camera and great software experience. And also, uh, just before I give you the price of the Galaxy S22 Plus in this deal, do note that this deal is on the base variant of the Galaxy S22 Plus, that is the 128GB storage variant. Uh, the 256GB storage variant is still selling for its original retail price. So, the base variant generally retails for about 80 to 85,000 rupees in India, but according to this uh, current Flipkart deal, there's a massive discount going on and uh, with this deal you can get the S22 Plus for about 60,000 rupees or 59,999 rupees to be exact and if you have an eligible smartphone then you can get an extra exchange bonus of 22,500 rupees and if you're able to club all these deals together and you plan to get the Galaxy S22 Plus then you might just end up with a cost of only about 40,000 rupees and 40,000 rupees for S22 Plus is a steel deal. So are you getting one for yourself today? Let me know in the comments. And with that, we have reached the end of this episode. So what are your thoughts on the OnePlus 11 design reveal? Let me know everything in the comments. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all in a fresh new episode tomorrow. Till then, take care of yourself and thank you for watching.